Claudia, stop daydreaming. Something I heard all the time at school from my teachers. Complaints to my mother about my constant daydreaming and staring out of the window. What else was I supposed to do if I didn't understand what was being said? Being taken out of the class to read those baby Mr. Men books while everyone else got to read chapter books? Those haunting words came back to my mind again. Claudia, you're so dumb. Memories of struggling with learning English are the very foundation upon which I built my identity as an English as an additional language teacher today. These recollections serve as a constant reminder of the challenges I faced and the perseverance it took to overcome then. My journey with the English language was far from smooth. Its intricate web of grammar rules and bewildering vocabulary often left me feeling lost and frustrated, mispronouncing words and sometimes even making them up. Memories flood back from my speech and drama lessons, my father not wanting me to have an accent. I now use these lessons I hated in my lessons today, laughing with my students as we understand the struggles of pronouncing certain words. Yet precisely this struggle kindles a fiery determination within me to succeed. I view these struggles as a positive, they have given me a unique perspective on the difficulties faced by English language learners. Empathy became the cornerstone of my teaching philosophy, and I teach guiding my students with patience and understanding. I aim to make their journey easier than mine has been. I never want a student of mine to feel like that Colombian girl staring out of the window, daydreaming her days at school away. Today I stand as a testament to the power of perseverance and transformational impact of personal challenges. My experiences have made me a more compassionate and effective teacher, helping me connect with my students on a deeper level and inspiring them to overcome their own hurdles in their pursuit of English proficiency. Teaching in London, one of the most diverse cities in the world, a beautiful mix of cultures, languages, Imagine a diverse classroom where students come from various cultural and ethnic backgrounds. Each student brings their unique perspective and experiences to the learning environment. Now envision teachers who share those diverse backgrounds, mirroring the experiences of their students. Luckily, that is my case. Working in a school where 25% of the school community is Latin American, this is out of the ordinary in London. But why is it crucial for students from different ethnic backgrounds to have a teacher who shares a similar story? Well, having teachers who look like us provides a powerful role model. They inspire us to dream big, showing us that success is attainable, regardless of our background. When children from an underrepresented group see a teacher who looks like them, they believe they can achieve anything they set their minds to, providing insights into the challenges they may face and offering guidance in navigating the world that might not always understand your experiences as an underrepresented group. We talk so much about inclusivity, but inclusivity is more than just a buzzword. It's a necessity. Teachers of different, different ethnicities convey that everyone is welcome, valued and respected. It creates a harmonious environment where students from all backgrounds can thrive, and this is what I aim to create with my students. My cultural background is my superpower. It gives me a unique perspective and understanding of my students' diverse needs and experiences. I can create a culturally responsive classroom environment where students feel seen and heard. This enhances their academic performance and fosters a sense of belonging and community, which is crucial for their emotional and social development. Education is often seen as a great equaliser, but it can only truly be so when it is accessible and inclusive. Unfortunately, many underrepresented groups face systemic barriers to quality education, such as language barriers, socio-economic disparities and discrimination. By empowering them through education, 
I can help level the playing field. I can provide them with the tools and knowledge that they need to overcome these obstacles and pursue their aspirations. My day-to-day is all about empowering my students. As an educator, it is not just a responsibility. It's a calling that resonates deeply with me. As someone who has walked in their shoes, through my role, I can be a source of inspiration, guidance, and support that can impact their lives. Education is not just about academics. It's more than just teaching subjects. It's about nurturing minds, fostering self-belief and breaking down barriers, fueling that sense of pride. They don't think twice about walking down the school corridor, wearing a traditional Colombian cumbia outfit, heating up their lentejas in the school canteen or dancing bachata in the school talent show. This pride instills self-confidence and self-worth as they recognize the richness of their heritage. I feel an overwhelming sense of pride when I think about the Latin American community in London. Our resilience, our vibrancy, and for all the cultural richness that we have imprinted on the city. Our community in London is as diverse as the continent itself. We come from Colombia to Mexico, Brazil to Argentina, and every country in between. It's not just a community. It's a dynamic force that enriches our city in countless ways. We bring language, music, food, warmth, and a profound sense of community. We bridge cultures and create connections. We infuse the city with colors, flavors, rhythms, and a testament to the fact that diversity is not just a matter of coexistence. It's a source of strength and beauty and a community that I am forever grateful for and has welcomed me with open arms. I remember working at another school. Until then, I had worked with students from many, many different backgrounds, but there was something in me that yearned to work with my community. Little did I know that I was manifesting my future. Fast forward, and here I am, St. Gabriel's College, a school in Lambeth. My mind started working overtime. How can I support these students? creating a supportive and inclusive environment that allows students to connect with their backgrounds and be proud of their heritage while feeling safe at school. This is crucial for their well-being and academic success. Having a school library with books that reflect their own culture, food in the canteen which they are familiar with, having parts of their culture intertwined into the school curriculum creating a whole school environment where cultural diversity is celebrated in all subjects. Role models are a vital piece of the puzzle, connecting students with role models who look and speak like them, who have explored the world pursuing higher education or built successful careers can provide invaluable guidance and inspiration. But where was I going to get them from? I started scrolling through my social media accounts, reaching out to members of the community. Message after message, some said yes, but most got ignored, which I understand. It must be strange to have a teacher in your inbox. However, this did not stop me. Luckily, a few were interested, and that's how it started. Visits from entrepreneurs, dancers, lawyers, barbers, actors, and even fashion stylists. The list now is endless. People from the community giving up their time to come in and inspire my students. They are examples of achievement and resilience, demonstrating that success is attainable despite potential obstacles. Given the invisible community visibility, these role models stepping out of the shadows of the famous other box and sharing all the beautiful things they contribute to society. Advocating for the recognition of one's ethnicity to the government holds a profound significance for the well-being of future generations. This inclusivity helps instill a sense of belonging and pride among communities, reducing the potential for ethnic tensions and conflicts. It is time to lift the veil and recognise our existence. Acknowledging invisible communities is not just a duty, it's a testament to our commitment to justice, equality and the dignity of every citizen. This paves the way for future generations to thrive and contribute to society without barriers. The community I started reaching out to now reaches out to me. How the tables have turned. 
organizations, charities, and community members who see the importance of this type of extracurricular education now send me messages. Claudia, how can we support you and the students at the school? Giving my students the opportunities and experiences many of us didn't have as young migrants in London, such as specific mental health support, dance shows, public speaking, and even taking part in art exhibitions, to name a few. These opportunities have not only been for my students. Little did I know that they would open the doors for my own personal growth and journey. And I've also been given opportunities that that little girl staring out of the window never thought she would get such as recording this video. A passionate educator is an inspiring educator. When you are genuinely enthusiastic about your subject and your students, your excitement is contagious. It's this passion that ignites the flames of curiosity in your students. I firmly believe that to inspire, one must be inspired. Stay curious and never stop learning. Be the living example of a lifelong learner for your students and they will be more likely to follow your lead. Build solid and meaningful relationships with your students. Get to know them as individuals and understand their unique strengths, challenges and dreams. Show them that you care not just about their academic success, but about their personal growth and well-being. Celebrate achievements, no matter how small. The journey of education is filled with milestones, both big and small. Lead by example. Your actions more than your words will leave a lasting impact. Show respect, empathy and dignity in everything you do. Be the embodiment of the values you wish to impart to your students. Never underestimate the power of encouragement. Encourage your students to dream big, take risks and persevere through challenges. Be the voice that tells them you can do it. Your unwavering support can be the difference between a student giving up or reaching their full potential. Lastly, being an educator is not about being perfect. It's about being passionate, caring, adaptable and authentic. It's about fostering a love for learning and helping your students believe in their capabilities. Together as educators, we can light the way for our students, inspiring them to be the best version of themselves. If I, a Latin American Colombian educator here in London, can inspire, motivate and guide my students towards success, then each one of you has the power to inspire and the ability to achieve and the potential to make your dreams a reality. Believe in yourselves and remember, if I can do it, you can too.